Recent restored in Florence's Santa Croce Church is a fresco like you've never seen before, close up. Close to the public in 2005 for a lengthy restorative effort, Agnolo Gadi's most illustrious fresco, The Legend of the True Cross, will be open to visitors starting Easter 2011. Decorating Santa Croce's Cappella Maggiore, the huge fresco is 30 meters tall and covers a surface area of over 800 square meters. The Cappella Maggiore was the last chapel in the Basilica to be decorated. Agnolo Gadi was the son of Taddeo Gadi, an artist who worked under Giotto, the founder of Western painting. Agnolo was asked to decorate the chapel in the 1380s because he was considered the artistic heir of Giotto at the time. The fresco is unique for a number of reasons. Aside from the figures illustrating the story, the fresco features a number of images that have nothing to do with traditional iconography. Dogs, ducks, birds, and insects, as well as different species of flowers and trees and a number of portraits. The artist inserted small portraits throughout the huge fresco, including a portrait of himself, a portrait of his father Taddeo, and even a portrait of Giotto. We're here with a director of the Opificio delle Pietedure, Cecilia Frosinini, who's going to tell us uh, about the restoration of Agnolo Gaddi's massive fresco in Santa Croce. Can you Hello. tell us hi. Can you tell us um, the importance of the work? Yeah, this is one of the most important chapels in Florence because also it's one of the biggest. And the peculiarity is that here in Santa Croce, uh, this, was, this was the last one to be painted. And this is a very strange idea because, uh, uh, you know, this is the most important Franciscan church outside of Assisi. Uh, so the Franciscan friars were very proud of this church and wanted also to invest a lot of money in decorating it so it's uh, still now a big problem for art historians why they left this one which is the most important without any paintings so we think that uh, when they arrived finally to paint these uh, frescoes they wanted the most important painter of Florence at the period so Giotto was already dead they were looking for someone who could be um, in some way, uh, the heir of Giotto, and I asked for Agnolo Gaddi. Agnolo Gaddi was the son of Taddeo. Taddeo was the godson of Giotto, so it's a sort of a family uh, from the artistic point of view. These frescoes are so full of details and richness, and some parts you can see here also, there are a lot of hidden treasures and also curiosities, because uh, you must consider that here we are probably at the sixth floor and from afar from uh, the floor uh, people cannot see all these details and so in some ways Agnolo Gaddi painted uh, all these uh, uh, oddities uh, this is a bird of course uh, or the rear there are um, crowns uh, uh, her dresser details and decorative motifs of the dresses of the women we don't know why, uh, just for sake of art, uh, because they couldn't be seen from afar. I know that he also painted a lot of portraits yeah. of himself and others. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of portraits that are hidden because you can look uh, very closely to these figures because they are uh, very tall or the natural, but when you, you go to look at uh, all the decorative motifs around the windows, mm -hmm. you can see that there are medallions uh, with little, little portraits. And we think that many of them are portraits, uh, maybe of people of the family of the Gaddi, Gaddi um, or other painters. There is also one that we suppose is uh, the portrait of Giotto. Um, also, the restorers in the 1940s yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that, uh, included their portraits yeah, as well yeah. in the. I think fresco, that it's uh, some. Yeah, I think that is something that uh, painters in the ancient times and restorers in modern times uh, really feel. Uh, they want to leave uh, traces of themselves uh, here. So when they restored the chapel uh, at the mid of the um, 40s. Uh, 
there are two of these restorers that painted themselves and there are two very very thin portraits hidden in the decorative motifs of the frames and we found them only after some months we were here looking for all the no details no no one no one knew about, no about, about that yeah yeah until 5 years ago yeah okay when thank you to allow visitors to see the minute details of the fresco close up officials have left the nine story scaffolding that was used during the restoration by accessing the opera di santa croce website visitors can book tours for about 1 year